What's going on everyone, this is Dom, and today we're checking out the best accessories available right now for the Nintendo Switch. And be sure to check out the link below for a chance to win one for yourself. Also, a good amount of this stuff is hard to find in stock and online, but I'll leave links below to everything if you wanna try and scoop some up. First up, this is a no-brainer. Snag a micro SD card or two for your Switch. It comes with 32 gigabytes internally, so you're definitely going to need to expand the storage if you plan on loading this thing up. I grabbed a couple of 64 gigabyte Kingston cards from Amazon for like 30 bucks each and that's a small price to pay to avoid deleting games when you need more space. Another definite must have for the Switch is an extra power supply. Sure, you can unhook the one from the dock every time you leave, but if you plan to use the Switch portably more often than not, this extra adapter is well worth the money. It plugs right into the USB-C port on the bottom of the Switch and you can leave your dock neatly set up at home. And along with that, you could pick up a new nifty little car charger, which could prove to be useful for long road trips. Both are great buys, and you can get the spare power adapter for just under 30 bucks, while the car charger will run you between 13 and $20. Next up, using the Joy-Con controllers is fun and all, but you may have noticed a little grip for them in the form of a controller that came in the box. Well, Nintendo also has a version of this Joy-Con grip that adds the ability to charge those mini little controllers. Unfortunately, you'll need to have this controller plugged in via USB-C to charge them as there's no internal battery here, but it's a nice option if the grip that comes in the box doesn't cut it for you. Everything else here is pretty much identical to the Joy-Con grip that you get for free, so it'll depend on your need as to whether or not this charging grip is worth an additional 30 bucks. Also, the Joy-Con controllers will happily charge while docked on the Switch as well. So what about this? Maybe you're cool with the Joy-Con controllers, but they're a bit small for your hands or even slightly slippery somehow. Well, there are plenty of nifty gel guards for them out there and not only do these provide something firm to grip, but they also add a little girth to the base as well, which is much more comfortable to hold over long periods of play. Along with that, if you wanted some neon Joy-Con controllers, this is probably the cheapest way to fake it by picking up alternating colors and slapping them on gray controllers. There are a ton of these gel guards out there as well online. You can find them between eight and $10, and I'm definitely a big fan of them. Coming up next, if you're not feeling the Joy-Con controllers, Nintendo has a much better quote, pro alternative that may suit your needs. This is the pro controller, and it's the type of controller that you'd find on an Xbox or a PlayStation and may be a bit more familiar to avid gamers out there. It's super comfortable to use and feels top notch in terms of build quality, and it's also rated to last roughly 40 hours on a single charge. And as you would expect, there's a USB-C port on the backside for recharging. And overall, I am a huge fan and tend to prefer it over the Joy-Cons in certain situations. And if this controller is something Thing that you'd prefer, it's available for around 70 bucks right now, and I highly recommend it. So now let's talk about protecting your precious Switch, and the first thing you're probably going to want to do is pick up a screen protector. It won't do much, but it'll keep that screen scratch-free, which is a definite win. Now you're probably also going to want to grab a carrying case for portability's sake. So I actually picked up this Zelda Special Edition bundle and got an awesome case with it, but there are quite a few other different colors and variations that will keep the Switch protected in your bag and also provide additional slots for game cartridges, accessories, and more. And on top of all of that, most of them will keep the Switch in place with a handy Velcro strap. But either way, this is a must have for Switch owners if you're planning on gaming on the go. So that about wraps it up for the best Switch accessories you can find at this moment in time. But let me know what your favorites are and be sure to check out the links in the description as there are a couple of videos I think you might wanna see. But also leave this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more like this in the future. Thanks again for watching everyone. This is Dom and I'll catch you in the next video.